And my friends, it's 8 a.m. in the morning. So I'm gonna go up to Home Bargains because hopefully it'll be empty. And I am literally the only person in this shop. Poor selection of rustlers. I had to go because the lady next to me was giving me a furious stare because she was trying to wash the floor. Decent supply of sugar and sugary yogurts. The dairy's always good in here, very well, reasonably priced. Now here's a butter chicken I've never tasted before. And these ribs, look at the size of them. They're $2.99. And they do pulled pork. Some more of those roasts that we did the other day. And also this thing, Bistro Express Spaghetti Bolognese. I think it might be worth giving this one a crack, my friends. Right, let's get one in. So here we have the Mayflower beef curry. Fantastic. More kinds of curry, takeaway curries, that's right. And the Kershaws, and your pizza pockets, and your pizzas. Fish. As we come over here, we find this mucky stuff. Look at that. Some quarter pounder action. Chicken bits, and then you get your nuggets and stuff. And these. A home bargain's changed these a short time back. Their old crispy chunks were fantastic. These, they're a bit rank actually. I'll say one thing about this place, they always have a decent price on Ben and Jerry's. Vegetables, baked potatoes, and a load of chips, including my favorite microchips, fries to go. Now this section is a good section, my friends, because we have all this long life food, and I think we should all consider getting a bunch of this stuff in, don't you? Considering what's gonna to happen to food prices from now on. So we have rice, we have noodles, we have dolmio, ready pastas, but they're a bit rank jars these are all good things that we all should be thinking about getting in right now it's actually important to keep some salt in too because contrary to popular belief it's actually pretty good for you it's essential for you some of these things will be good and get them while they're at these prices and your tins will obviously last you a lot lot longer than what they say on the date on the use by date oh no the music's got really annoying i'm gonna have to get out of here and get this stuff home. So we'll just pop them on here. So what we got? End one. That'll be the end one, I think. All right, buddy. All right. Do you want to just pop that through quick? I've just got to film some of it. Cheers. So nothing particularly special, nothing that we haven't seen before, but we got that spaghetti bolognese, didn't we? Should count our blessings. So here is that very spaghetti, my friends. Bistro Express Spaghetti Bolognese. Spaghetti pasta served in an Italian-style ragu with beef and pork. Microwave in four minutes. So here it is, my friends, straight out of the microwave. So the spaghetti makes up 50% and the bolognese makes up 50%. Decent. The spaghetti itself has a nice feel to it. Comes apart nicely, hasn't stuck together. And it holds itself together nicely on the prongs. Decent wobble. Then we have the bolognese itself. It's pretty thick. Makes a nice noise. It's got a wonderful colour, especially around the edge. Look at this thing, very proud of itself, glistening away. Now this half a kilogram of eat will give you 610 calories, 21 grams of fat, of which seven grams is saturated fat. It is pleasing to see this worm-like action sat there patiently and the radiant reds and glorious oranges make this look most appealing. But most of all, I'm loving the way this sea of red meat is lapping against that spaghetti beach. So it's time to get involved. Well, it's a weighty little fella. He could probably do some training with this thing. Right, I'm just going to try that spaghetti on its own first. Right, here we go. Oh yeah, that's one of the best spaghettis I've had out of a micro meal. It's absolutely perfect to the bite. Seriously, 
and it falls apart nicely and it does taste like it's been seasoned. Really good. Bolognese. Oh, that's really nice too. You can taste the beef, so nothing's overpowered the meat sensation. And it's got a kind of slightly sweet but slightly tangy tomato sauce around it as well. And it's nice and smooth in the gob. Okay, let's get some bolognese with that spaghetti. Wonderful. The sauce has got enough about it so it doesn't lose any of its flavour when blended with the spaghetti. Great combination. The spaghetti is quite long as well, so just be ready to twirl it around your forks. Great flavours, great textures at a great price. The only thing I'd ask for is a little bit more meat. Aside from that, 9 out of 10 to the last bite. Mmm. So, Bistro Express Spaghetti Bolognese. Fabulous effort, chaps. You're obviously a smaller company than the likes of Bisto, etc. But you know what? Your spaghetti is better than theirs. I cannot get over the texture of that spaghetti in my gob. Fantastic. Anyway, thanks for coming. Until next time, get out of here. What is that happen? So, nothing special. Or nothing me the Oh, let's try again. Oh, get in focus, you idiot. Don't. Whoops. <laughs> Pop. Da da. Da 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 da. Ah, uh, oh, don't drip on me. And it holds itself together nicely on the. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, yeah. <sighs> That's one of the best spaghettis I've had. Oh. But it might not be. So, Beast Ha <laughs> ha. Etc. Etc.